Hello friends, so how are you all? Today I am here with a new video on Isabella Thabwan Degree College that is IT College in Lucknow and uh, basically so I'll be uh, telling you all about this college within this video. Now before going ahead with the, uh, with the video, let me tell you one thing that how do I have a practical experience of this college. So uh, because uh, I had gone to give my entrance exam there and I stood at the first rank there. So, uh, so I have practically seen and experienced the college for a day or two even I went there for at the counseling time so therefore I can I feel like that I can easily share my experience with you and help you in a very good manner so before going uh, so okay let me tell you about the IT college now so this IT college is basically not basically it is a girls college and uh, it stands almost at the second rank after National PG College right National PG College is also a very good autonomous college however this IT college is uh, it's also a very good college for girls and is affiliated to Lucknow University now let me tell you about the difference between because uh, when uh, anyone says that uh, uh, he or she is studying in an autonomous college then how does it makes a difference and when you say that you are studying in an affiliated college in a college which is affiliated to any university then how does it makes a difference तो अगर आप किसी ऑटोनॉमस कॉलेज में पढ़ते हैं तो उसका मतलब यह है कि वहां के जो रूल्स और रेगुलेशंस हैं वो पूरी तरह से उस कॉलेज के हाथ में है दैट कॉलेज इज सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट टू मेक इट्स ओन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन हाउएवर व्हेन यू आर स्टडीइंग इन अ कॉलेज लाइक आईटी कॉलेज देन एनी सच कॉलेज व्हिच इज एफिलिएटेड टू एनी यूनिवर्सिटी तो वहां पर उस कॉलेज में uh, उस कॉलेज का एकेडमिक कैलेंडर उस कॉलेज के uh, काफी रूल्स और रेगुलेशंस हैव टू गो इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द यूनिवर्सिटी जैसे आईटी कॉलेज है केकेवी केकेसी दीस ऑल द कॉलेजेस दैट आर एफिलिएटेड टू अ यूनिवर्सिटी से लखनऊ यूनिवर्सिटी दीस ओके सो बेसिकली हाउ डज इट मेक्स अ चेंज अप अगर आप एक ऑटोनॉमसी अंडर ग्रेजुएशन लेवल पे बेसिकली देयर आर सिक्स पेपर्स दैट यू हैव टू गिव सिक्स पेपर्स होते हैं एग्जाम के लिए व्हेन यू आर स्टडीइंग इन एन ऑटोनॉमस कॉलेज देन हार्डली मोर देन टू ना हार्डली टू पेपर्स आर देयर जो एक्सटर्नली आते हैं दैट आर मेड बाय द एक्सटर्नल एग्जामिनर्स हाउएवर दिस डजंट हैपेंस इफ यू आर स्टडीइंग इन एनी कॉलेज व्हिच इज अफिलिएटेड टू एनी यूनिवर्सिटी सपोज इफ यू आर स्टडीइंग इन आईटी कॉलेज एंड इट इज अफिलिएटेड टू एलयू then in that case all the six papers that you will be giving wo sare all the six papers jin pe aap exam denge wo sare six papers will be made from the will be external bahar se ban kar ke aayenge lekin agar aap ek autonomous college mein hai to aapko sare un papers ko face nahi karna padega jo bahar se ban ke aayenge then jo aap paper denge usme aisa ho sakta hai hardly टू पेपर्स आ गया जो बाहर से आ सकते हैं वरना द रेस्ट ऑफ द फोर्स फोर पेपर्स विल बी मेड बाय द बाय योर ओन सब्जेक्ट टीचर्स एंड योर ओन सब्जेक्ट प्रोफेसर्स ओनली ओके सो दिस वाज वन ऑफ द एंड नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम दिस तो इसी तरीके से आउट ऑफ द सिक्स पेपर्स इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग इन एन ऑटोनॉमस कॉलेज तो फोर पेपर्स आ देयर uh that will be made from your own college only that will be checked in also by your own college professors only and once if it happens na then uh, you, you know you can easily understand ki every college wants ki unke college ke students ke acche marks aaye so now you can have an idea so this is one thing however if you are in an uh, in any college uh, that is affiliated to lucknow university in that case paper bhi bahar se aate hain sare and all the papers have to, uh, are uh, used to be get checked by the external examiners only to jo aapko subject teachers padhate hain wo paper banayenge ya wo aapke papers ko check karenge iski probability bahut kam ho jati hai one thing is this now second major difference now what is the second major difference second major difference that in itself plays a good role that that thing is regarding the gold medal see bahut logo ka dream hota hai i will not say ki aapka hai nahi but bahut logo ka hi dream hota hai ki they want uh, to be a gold medalist in under graduation ya post graduation wo gold medalist banna chahte hain it's a thing of pride to agar aap kisi university ke affiliated college mein gold medalist banna chahte hain तो आपको उस यूनिवर्सिटी से एफिलिएटेड सारे कॉलेजेस के बीएससी ग्रुप में टॉप करना होगा हाईएस्ट मार्क्स लाने होंगे सो एज टू बी द गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट एंड इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग इन एन ऑटोनॉमस कॉलेज से नेशनल पीजी देन अगर इफ यू वांट टू बी अ गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट तो केवल नेशनल पी के जो बी ग्रुप के सारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं आपको उनसे कम्पीट करना होगा टू बी द गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट 
वन थिंग इज दिस और दूसरा एक डिफरेंस आता है नेशनल पीजी और आईटी कॉलेज में जो हम बता देते हैं वो भी दैट इज़ आल्सो वो भी गोल्ड मेडल पे बेस्ड है दैट डिफरेंस इज दिस कि नेशनल पीजी सेमेस्टर वाइज गोल्ड मेडल देता है लाइक फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर में अगर आपने नेशनल पी जी नेशनल पी में बी में टॉप किया पूरे बी ग्रुप में तो आपको उस सेमेस्टर में गोल्ड मेडल मिलेगा नेक्स्ट सेमेस्टर में फिर गया तो फिर गोल्ड मेडल मिलेगा तो सिक्स सेमेस्टर्स यू आर हैविंग सिक्स चांसेस टू गेट सिक्स गोल्ड मेडल्स एंड बिकम अ गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट है हाउ एवर इफ़ यू आर स्टार्टिंग इन एन यूनिवर्सिटी एफिलिएटेड कॉलेज और इन लखनऊ यूनिवर्सिटी इन दैट केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो यू विल हैव टू बीट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स फ्राम जो एफिलिएटेड कॉलेजेस के स्टूडेंट हैं उनको भी इंक्लूडिंग इंक्लूडिंग द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ लखनऊ यूनिवर्सिटी प्लस उनको और उसके साथ साथ आपको दोनों सेमेस्टर्स में टॉप करना होगा या फिर आपका पूरे फर्स्ट वहाँ पे ईयरली गोल्ड मेडल दिया जाता है आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट फर्स्ट ईयर में दोनों सेमेस्टर्स मिला के विल बी एट द हाईएस्ट होल्डर अमंग्स द ऑल द कॉलेजेस ऑफ एल यू दैट आर एफिलिएटेड टू एल यू देन यू विल बी गिवन द गोल्ड मेडल सो दिस इज़ द वे ऑफ बींग गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट वेन यू आर देयर ओके एन एन एफिलिएटेड कॉलेज और इन एल यू then comes okay so this was uh, next i'll be coming to okay let now let me talk about the infrastructure of it college uh, friends let me tell you one thing here see i have given the entrance exam both uh, at both the colleges it also and national pg also and i was first at it but there were two reasons why did i uh, took national in preference to it first reason was about the infrastructure because i loved the infrastructure of national at the first glance only however it college mein jo commerce ki new building hai right new building structure is you know it's no it's very fine and calm however when you compare it with the old building of it college the net is are not that very good because uh, uh, it college you know it college uh, has been uh, constructed even before lucknow university बहुत पुराना कॉलेज है इट्स अ वेरी वेरी ओल्ड कॉलेज सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि इफ़ अ कॉलेज इज टू ओल्ड तो उसका इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर थोड़ा सा तो लाइट पड़ ही जाता है लेकिन स्टिल इफ़ यू वांट टू बी इफ विल बी इफ़ यू वांट टू गेट एडमिटेड टू द न्यू बिल्डिंग ऑफ आई कॉलेज इन दैट केस यू कैन दैट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज यू नो इट्स कूल एंड फाइन एंड सेकेंड थिंग इट कम्स इज आफ्टर द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नेक्स्ट आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट However, but when we compare uh, the campus, so the campus of IIT College is comparable to that of your, uh, you know, Lucknow University. Its campus is really very large. Then um, after the campus, let me uh, after infrastructure, let me talk of the placement wing there. So the placement wing in the IIT College is no, it's very good for the postgraduate ones. But as usual, it is not that good for the undergraduate ones. So this is one thing. and after it now let me talk of the entrance exam conduction there now when i'll speak of the entrance exam conduction then i'll definitely say at first i'll talk of the negative marking in the entrance exam friends when we talk of the uh, uh, negative marking there it is still a mystery for me I, i you know right now even till now i am not been able to get to know it ki whether the negative marking was conducted there or not because neither was this mentioned anywhere not even on the day of examination meanwhile i was writing my examination then also they didn't uh, they didn't told me ki whether the and uh, your negative marking will be conducted or not so this was a mystery and i didn't get to know however i can have an idea ki the, the negative marking was not conducted there that, that's my personal idea okay this is one thing now after this after the entrance exam okay now let me tell you all about this uh, the entrance exam listen carefully the paper will consist of 200 mcqs the paper consist of 200 mcqs and there will be four sections in your paper four sections 50 questions 50 mcq for each section now out of those four sections that you will be having one will be of physics section 1 for physics for 50 marks uh, not 50 marks uh, your 50 mcqs will be there and similarly section 2 for chemistry 50 mcqs section 3 for mathematics 50 mcqs and the section 4 will again be of 50 mcqs in which 25 mcqs will be for the general awareness and the rest 25 mcqs will be for uh, your uh, your general awareness will be there and your english grammar right so our 25 mcqs will be for the general awareness and 25 mcqs will be for your english grammar right so this is one thing and uh, then i'll say 
so this is how your examination uh, paper will be consist of consist of right and then comes ki your time slot see one thing is very good with the it college the time slot is very good there you will be given 180 minutes that is 3 hours to solve the paper okay you'll be given 3 hours to solve the paper and it is a good duration so this is one thing ki uh, yes the time slot is very good there for 200 mcqs you'll be having 180 minute and then uh, after this entrance exam conduction okay <clears throat> let me talk of ki how you will be able to crack it at first thing is this ki the paper is not going to be tough it's really very you know it's of it's not that tough it is easy even if your <coughs> basic concepts are clear see before going to it call to give this paper you must at least once go through all the formulas in your end of your intermediate level uh okay intermediate uh, is more asked in in this exam and it is of a good uh, its uh, difficulty level is not high at all even if your basic concepts and formulas you do remember them then you will definitely be able to, be able to rock the paper okay this is and then friends uh, it really i made this video for you out of care and concern i really worked hard for it so if you feel that the information that i gave you worth it please hit like and subscribe from, uh, subscribe my channel for uh, for getting these kinds of information and reviews thank you very very much have a nice day